Howdy, y'all. Cornwood. Oh, howdy. Howdy, Chief Justice Crane. Hi there. What's going on, Chief Justice? Get off countrysingles.com, Cletus. Well, hell, I had to check it again. Howdy, y'all. Hi there, Cornwood. Where's your suit? I decided to not wear the suit until I'm present. I'm going to present next week. Why aren't you presenting this week? So, yeah, it looks like it. Thank because you. of the other legislation, so after stream, dude, I was awake till 9 a.m. playing off stream, talking to people because, like, well, I, uh, like, flop with, went off duty. With like, great everybody's joy like, and over mirth it. in my heart, do I announce the beginning of the fifth Council of Eight meeting? Uh, today we have some special guests. We have uh, Captain Leonardo Slacks and Captain Wyatt Turner, the LSPD. Captain Wyatt Turner is a 23 year old, or sorry, 23 uh, veteran of the police force and is currently sending his tour of duty into the I literally of logged on just to talk Santos. to Shavon about uh, we have Leonardo Slacks a uh, young paperwork. bright up and coming captain uh, uh, trying his best to make sense of this <laughs> landscape and we have a uh, Cletus Cornwood who will be taking notes for me today as he is part of my legal counsel <laughs> um first and foremost <laughs> let's welcome our new chief of staff Siobhan hey Thurred chat can somebody take notes wife. for the meeting for me please <laughs> Someone do me a favor. Hi. Um, I just want to say that I'm really, um, and on the note, I just want to say, I think some of us may have gotten off on the wrong foot. And I want to be clear that I have, you know, always thought as what is good for the city and the state. I, I don't care about personal gain. If I did, I would not have been a judge. You know, I think Crane can attest to the fact that I don't really have an ego and it's about what's best for the city. Um, and uh, I will always put the best interest of the city first. You have my promise and my word. Wait, is there a way to who, do that? Who slipped me moonshine? Mm, not me. Oh. <laughs> when it was me, it was me. It was, it, when it was, it was like a week ago or some shit. Wait, there's someone on the floor I'm here so right confused. now. Yeah, there, there are moonshine bottles on the floor. I, I did not want to pick it up and be in a possession of it. But yeah, yeah that there, would be. Illegal. I did not pick it up, and somehow, someone oh, there's, in there's, there's a there's oh, a well, bo there's a the bottle next to every chair right now, guys. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I noticed as well. Mm. I, I presume because of the to set the tone for the the meeting that we're about. To See, the Cornwood thing to do would be to bend over and pick one up and drink it. Hey, would you like yeah, those confiscated? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble. Yes. Let's go around and grab those here. Fucking sober. This is kind of an insult. Whoever did that shit. But they're literally gonna fire me if I do it. Ah, uh, being funny is illegal. You you able to pick that one up? Mm. Don't. He's gonna get your DNA. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, I prepared a little speech because this okay. is an important topic with a uh, quite a bit of facets to it. Um, I urge you to listen to me. It's a bit lengthy, not too long. The it's island like, is on fire, and after the verdict from Mr. K that. last night, even more gas has been poured on it. The resulting flames will be the perfect backdrop for this incomplete and incompetent police department. Their vision of the three pillars has failed. Their own police officers, officers that I have taken the time to speak to personally, are too afraid to rep uh, too afraid of reprimand from their superiors to even adequately do their job. They fear reprimand from their superiors for speaking to me, the elected mayor, without permission. A majority of officers I have spoken to feel that they have been ill-equipped to prepare the next generation of police officers to bring order to this inherently chaotic place. They have had two months to flesh out an even a semblance of a suitable chain of command. They have chosen instead to greedily bottleneck any semblance of power and responsibility while simultaneously irresponsibly going MIA at some of the most pivotal moments of their development, leaving their subordinates to pick up the pieces without giving them the tools They're to do with no so. Shoes. When I confronted these LSPD captains with myriad issues last night, I was met with an exceptionally defensive and utterly pathetic attempt at gaslighting. They assured me that they were working in earnest to yeah, produce funny from the bottom up a police department of integrity and accountability. The results of this combined effort have been clear to see. Just last night and many nights as reported to me, the police response on the island has been near non-existent. I myself have gone down to P MRPD last night to investigate and found both gates to their motor pool unlocked and wide open for just about anyone to waltz in. I reported on 311. The customer service-esque thank you, we'll get right on that, I received was more akin to something a waiter might say if I were sending my food back. Fortunately for all three of these LSPD captains, one of their cadets was lingering about close to the gate for them. I was curious. I asked this cadet to let the chief of staff and I into the building so that I could see what the police presence was like for ship three at MRPD. The halls were empty, eerily silent as the three of us walked through the maze-like hallways to find where the four blips identified by this officer might be lingering in an MRPD. I wanted to see who they were and what they were doing. 
So certainly these individuals were doing something to put that fire out. After five minutes of wandering, the cadet led us all the way to the top floor of MRPD, an eerie liminal space. He pushed open the double doors and bri I briefly caught a glimpse uh, and briefly I caught a glimpse of all three LSPD captains huddled in a circle. I ushered the cadet in question along and insisted that we be shown out. I suspected that they might get in trouble for showing the chief of staff and I around the building considering the volatile conversation I'd had with the three captains earlier that night. The cadet showed us out of the building with none of the captains even peeking their head out of the storage closet they were meeting in to see who might be wandering around their headquarters. On the way out, I asked the cadet, what's your general feel for policing on the island these days? Very hesitantly, as though he had been, uh, he knew he'd be punished for admitting it. He said, oh, well, I don't know. It's just hard to get out there knowing I might get in trouble for trying to do my job. With the three pillars of the LSPD working so desperately to ensure that training comes first and foremost prior to actually establishing a palpable chain of command, why is it that this random cadet would utter thing such a thing to me? Buck does have a lot of The environment fostered Buck by these three LSPD <laughs> captains is poisonous. It has become increasingly clear, clear to me that they have no true intention of fleshing out their chain of command in any meaningful or speedy manner, given that one Captain Turner claimed it would take a three additional months to have anything remotely I'm resembling such what I asked yeah. them last night. You know, I'm all for America. Get out of here now. Get yep, all bed, right. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Seriously, there's some serious business, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> of all people, Vivek is yelling at Bobby. Please, Bobby. Once again, Captain Wyatt Turner claimed to me after inquiry last night that it would take three additional months to have anything remotely resembling a chain of command. They did, however, take the time to write out a very nice little document that, in the very first paragraph, outlines the very simple fact that they themselves believe that they are the only ones possibly qualified to become chief of police, or in this case, commissioner. I was sent this by Leonardo Slacks after I allowed him to see what I've been working on in the realm of this act. Why have we gone several nights without any meaningful police presence on the island? How many shifts have been relegated to ghost towns courtesy of this flagrant incompetence and utterly pathetic attempt at power See, consolidation? The Cornwood thing to Why do would literally be to pull out the gun and, from and yell, not point it at them even, but Two yell at ago. them and Why be like, that every hey, time I hold like, a town hall, the people I represent beg me to give I, them firearms they don't, so that they, they don't can understand themselves English. attempting to do honest well, legal I know work language in Los they understand. Angels. You know what I mean? They tell me that their 311s and 911s go unanswered most of the time. Why is it taking so long for you two? to do something I know no can be RPL done half the time by yeah. actual qualified professionals. When I made this known to the captains last night, Captain Roos suggested voting by the LSPD to seize power from the Council of Eight and to effectively usurp the responsibility bestowed upon us by the state. The responsibility that half of the population of Los Santos placed in my hands. So pressed was she by the prospect of having any amount of oversight whatsoever, treason was the first thing that she suggested. So, so this is right what in happened. in my presence, in my office, in this building, in front of my I, wife and I. I think Siobhan most importantly, in plays- Most two other LSP like, captains who did not being so much honest, lift a single finger I think Siobhan's character and Cornwood have like the words. most similar personality types out of a lot of people. Captains, you All remember? the time. Stop talking about Yeah, that. I can read it for you, I'll, you know, out loud. Please, there's a, there's a please. Announcement my, about bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, there should be. I'm sure your your subordinates want to know why you didn't do shit about it. Because I didn't believe treason happened, Mayor. That's why. Yeah. Captain of course Ruth not. proposed a hypothetical question that if the city council can just vote and say that above the PD, can the captain just vote and say that above the city council? That was a question that was proposed. That sounds like she's posing a hypothetical. Uh, to well, first of all, Cantor, it's called hyper. Mayor? First of all. It was so far off base that even if that's what she was trying to do, her lack of understanding about how basic government functions in our island is disgusting. She, she, suggesting for a moment that that is the same thing as the Council of Eight is ridiculous because all of us have checks and balances. All of you can vote to impeach me. All of you, some of you are not elected officials. You can be fired and replaced. And once again, oh, shit. it's so hyperbole. So if we were to, if we were to secede, and make so a little Texas that would technically be treason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there. She definitely said that. She also said the PD was her own branch of government. So that, that like, you know what I mean? So. I mean, thank God we're all protected by the third part of the Bill of Human Privilege, freedom of speech, right? Don't even get me started on you, Nakota. Yeah, I'm glad that your Not captains. When it with the penal code. I, I'm glad no, that your captains are. I'm glad. Here. I'm glad that your captains are here, Nakota. Freedom of speech is not freedom of consequences. Any sort of actual subject for you from the PD. 
you've said, oh, well, I don't know if I could speak on that. I don't know if I could speak on the behalf of the captain. So what's your fucking job at that point? What are you here to accomplish other than to push the agenda that these motherfuckers are trying to have you push? You mean the PD agenda? The captain agenda. If this was the PD agenda, you would have mentioned a single time the plight that you and your fellow officers are currently experiencing. What, well, what is our plate, Mayor? Yeah, what yeah. is our plate, Mr. Mayor, Mayor, that you know so much the about? The captain's agenda, when in reality it's the PD agenda. Go ahead, Nakota, tell him exactly what's going on. <laughs> well, I just want Please. i want to hear what the biggest issues facing the PD are from you, can Mr. We, Mayor, since you've talked to Can we, can we pause so for a second? Can I, I just want to, one thing at a time, because we, we've been through so many topics. Oh. Man, okay, let me let me finish. Oh, I'm so I'm glad, I, I'm so glad I brought Cornwood here. I'm so glad. What just happened. So he can just listen and just hear what everybody has to say. The combative and disrespectful tittering from Captain Turner and Captain Ruth, as well as the willful and weaponized ignorance demonstrated by Captain Leonardo Slacks last night was both disheartening and eye-opening. The LSPD claims to care about the people of Los Santos, about us, about whoever. Why is it then, when faced with the smallest bit of scrutiny from its mayor, an official who represents the majority of the people of Los Santos in their best interests, they cannot fathom that they might have been in the wrong in their methods or that they could use a little bit of help? The, the mayor, yes, is, is the elected will of the people. And as such, he represents the will of the state. However, much like myself, that, you know, authority or will of the people is not limitless. You know, authoritarian regime where he is going to forcibly take over the PD, Certainly fire not. people, and, and do a not. bunch of crazy shit. Firing and, firing people is the furthest thing on my mind right now. Even you and, fucks. And I and I and I can Mr. Mayor, please just let me get Mayor, through. Mayor, Mayor, uh, with all the respect, I mean I, I'm not gonna sit here and take this respect. Okay, I'll walk just, out of here. Everybody everybody cool it down. As I discussed with you gentlemen out in the hallway, this is not something that is of his own creation spawned from nothingness. This council that I helped to design is meant to establish the will of the people. Oftentimes, I found myself, uh, you know, five, six years ago, overwhelmed trying to make cater to everyone's make, needs make from every walk of life. Make, 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 make part of the reason for this council existing make, make, is that I felt it were more appropriate make, for different make, walks make, of life to be like, represented make, make, through different make, conduits, make, such as like the make, healthcare field, the law enforcement field, the legal field. When I look at things, you need to trust me, Slacks, Turner, everyone, that I'm doing so in the best interest of this state. I helped Max conceive of many of the ideas in this document. This is not something that's coming out of left field. Oh shit. We, as a council, have been approached by many people from PD, both on our own, as groups, randomly. Hell, I've been sitting in the lobby of MRPD and I've had people say shit to me about how PD's going. Thank God. Now, this doesn't they all mean think it's just Cornwood. It's everybody. Or do I think Max does? Not everybody. It's like it's Part legit over half. Part of the conversation half. we had it's is that the first step of, of any of this, and potentially even the penultimate step, will solely be to assemble an investigative panel. You have my word that he is only trying to do what's best for the city. Now, do I agree with his exact methodology? No, I do not think that... Uh, Fire and brimstone preaching from the pulpit is a good way to accomplish and engender people to your cause. So mm -hmm. there's no there's no fucking weird discussion about who's the ultimate power, who's taking power from who. The end result is we're all trying to do our fucking jobs. Sorry, I'm now I'm fire and brimstone. No, it, 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 it. I love True. hearing you speak. Please continue. I think I'm glad Max got his shit out of his system. I hope in the future he can, you know, visit a men's warehouse and get some slip-ons at least. We'll see. Crane, this and I is said, exactly hey, what Cornwood is conveying. About Everything Crane is saying is exactly. And sending in this, you know, investigative body to sort of get us the answers. So the reason why we haven't pushed civilian oversight board into legislation yet is because it should go as an in tandem. The civilian oversight board should be created so that as this investigative panel discovers issues that may be occurring, they can be referred directly to Malton because guess what? Malton's on the panel. I don't think Corn was bad at communicating. Then he can I think go ahead and assemble the civilian oversight board, which the elections will run in the next week or so, assuming this legislation in some form gets passed. And it says it should be the mayor's office's goal to ensure that the law enforcement departments are given the tools to succeed. It says that every law enforcement officer is afforded the opportunity to succeed so long as they are passionate about their job and committed to active law enforcement. So there's been some contention about that one. 
let me be clear. I it was never going to be my intention to go in and be like, hey, you know, these these discipline points. Mm, don't know about that. Don't know about this indefinite suspension. He's hired again. Blah blah blah. I literally won't be doing that. Um, it's more about <clears throat> establishing the chain of command so that you guys are not judge, jury, and executioner. And how would you fix that with an active chain of command? What, what, what uh, would you do in a way to where you'd allow something like that to flourish? What I would do is I would make sure you had a boss, a commissioner, a chief of police, anyone that could look at your handed out discipline points and think, hey, maybe these guys shouldn't be the ones to review whether or not their decision to hand out discipline points was correct or not. What Accountability. The chief of police uh, is the one issuing that points and signing off on it and you don't agree with it. What happens then? Should not be doing that. Uh, yeah, we, he just doesn't do it. I'm, I'm just confused. What do people have an issue with when a boss or somebody else comes in and removes somebody for lying or integrity, false lying evidence? The issue is not the substantive action that has occurred. The issue is that procedurally, the substantive action is being reviewed by the same people that made the action in the first place. It would be and like if I did a court case and someone's only chance to appeal was to say, hey, Crane, you ruled on my court case. Uh, I'm appealing. I think you got it wrong. Uh, what do you think? Do you see how awkward and, and strange that is? Right, that is the right. whole point. How, you, there should the be someone disconnected, somebody, whether it's why we propose a commissioner. A Correct. Right. I, we're on the same page there, which is why I'm saying I don't think anything here is novel or different. I just think y'all are having communication problems, which welcome to fucking Los Santos, everybody. What well, One of our jobs, okay, there's That's, a difference between my job and their job, obviously, is that I was elected by people because I talked and listened to them. These fucks were picked by the state. Mm, and what one of us Damn. is better at listening Max, and talking to people? How the hell were we meant to vote for this when you were going to oversee them when you were unwilling to speak to them or even show them the basic decency of talking about? Well, he they did. Don't deserve they decency, gone. Cantor. They threatened treason in That's City Hall problem. last night. Okay, pause. Uh, second point. They they didn't threaten treason. Okay. <laughs> I've spoken to several officers now, and every time I ask them about how it's going or how they feel about their superiors or how everything is operating within the, the police department, every single one of them hesitates. You know what's funny? Buck actually like, told me they that were afraid he thinks we should have a union a month ago, and I told him to no. Even begin speaking out of line. Nakota himself in our council meetings is afraid to speak to the 100% of his, his job title because he is afraid that it is going to contradict what you guys think. Uh, naturally, I presented this. Um, I vote yay. Uh, Speak up on liaison that. Liaison of the police department of Los Santos. I vote nay. Head of bar, uh, former police commissioner. Okay, one one. Bolton. Come on. Yay. Ooh shit. Uh, head of medical group. Two two. Um, two, 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 two or liaison of the medical group of Los Mom's Santos. a big uh, one. Philippa Cantor. I vote nay. Okay, two two. Oh, Chief shit. Justice, the venerable. Three two. Alan Crane. Ah. Uh, I am of the assumption uh, that Madam Treasurer will vote nay, and thus uh, the vote will not reach a supermajority, and thus that will accomplish the state oversight that we have uh, referred to, and thus I am comfortable voting yay because I believe in my bosses and the state to curb okay. and repeal this should anything go awry. So I vote okay, nay. good shit. Coil saves the, the day. Coil saves the day. <laughs> Kale Soze returns to the um, PD. Deputy and Mayor commission. Michael Simone. <laughs> I vote yay. Oh, uh, shit. Chief of Staff Siobhan Thoroughbred. 4 3. Yay. 5 3. Uh, the yays have it. 5 to 3. Passes. Oh, three, shit. Which is not a supermajority. Thus, everyone can be assured there is state oversight and potential to repeal should the mayor act out of turn. Oh, shit! Okay, I will go ahead now and I will oh my gosh. into its final form. I will ensure there is a sunset clause at the uh, conclusion of my editing. I will ask that everyone review my notes and edits such that we are all in agreement. This is what we voted for. When we all agree, then I will publish it and I will pass the published version on to the PD. You know, I, I it's not going to be, it's not, so it's not coming back, right? But it's, it was a joking. Max. This is simply an investigative panel that will hold interviews with members of the PD should they wish to speak to the panel. And those members of PD can bring up anything they wish. Okay, right. Slacks and Turner, I will uh, make the edits we discussed. I've already given you my word on what that will consist of. I will uh, text you Slacks and let you know that it's been updated for your review. I, I do like how everything is pointed at Max, even though it says mayor and deputy mayor. 
Yeah, I was gonna when say, should I leave? You didn't really speak. You're not the one shit talking them, so it's okay. They deserve to be shit talked. Let's be honest. Uh, I disagree. Okay, so there's some. There's some. What's that quote about? Something about don't you know, emperor's clothes or something. Some suggestions from the people of Los Santos. Oh, serialized uh, some of these are, are, are things that I will suggest directly to the Fed. Uh, they're in my notes document if you guys want to take a peek at it or guess at what any of those might be. I personally do not think that an additional charge is required for the theft of this particular thing. Anything else, guys? Sick. Well, this is our shortest meeting yet. I thought this would be Somehow, our longest one. I, yeah, okay. Was, Perfect. I can go watch racing. It's because That's I don't great. have anything. Hello. Howdy. Hey, Cornwood. So what do you think? I, I didn't get win. What do you think? What do I think? Oh, well, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's good. I'm a little bit, uh, I, I'm, I, here's, I'm, a, what I'm a little bit concerned about hearing about, uh, it's senior officer plus only, right? See, if it's senior officer plus, a lot of the folks that are, well, there's two parts to this. One, a lot of folks that are, uh, currently senior officers are in their, you know, because they, you know, they're, uh, the captains are quite fond of them. I've met Barrick. Yeah, Barrick's a good one. Uh, uh, don't don't worry. I, I'm not. Look, I'm gonna get all those names. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna talk to all these guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit them down. I'm gonna figure out who's got the best head on their shoulders and who will best serve the state. Look, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't care too much for rank. I I, I just care to be able to do my damn job. Now, I care to be able to do my job, but I also want people to be happy. And people just ain't happy right now. I have all them notes you asked me to take. Do, do you want me to send you send you the footnotes for that meeting? Yeah, email them to me. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll send that to you uh, shortly. I'm going to go through and I'm going to make sure to... Is there a time you want to buy? Or? So I, I mainly had you take those notes because I, uh, I suspected that certain people in that meeting might be upset that you were there. Well, I mean, so hey, these this, are, this these, covers our ass is what it does. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. So, you know, make them as good as you want. As long as you've got something written there, I'm pretty sure that's all that fucking matters. All right, that's, that's what I was going for. So, well, shit, I'm, uh, hell, I'll be honest with you. I don't mind coming into more of those. I, I love sitting in and listening to that, if you'll have me, but. Yeah, it'll, it'll, he, my my wife was doing it at first, but she's the chief of staff now. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you're more than welcome to come with me every time if you want. Okay. Yeah, good shit. All righty. Um, hell, if you need anything else from me, just let me know. Uh, I'll, hell, I'll be around the next few hours. All right. Sounds good. Uh, love you, Big C. All righty. Appreciate it. Sick. Cramfield land.